what up so i've owned the beat for about a week now and i haven't done any maintenance i know when people first buy these cars they do a timing belt right away oil change right away i haven't done anything i've just been putting in gas and just praying to the k lords but that changes all today because we're going to put a new air filter in we're going to do a fresh oil change new spark plugs and new spark plug wires oil filters for k cars are pretty easy to get everyone gets the blue honda one but this one is like a dollar fifty on rock auto same thing with spark plugs i got this from rock auto i'll show the price right now on the screen and then these wires are a lot cheaper than japan i think these were about like 40 bucks and if you get them from japan they're like 90 almost double or triple the price so the first thing i want to get done is probably the easiest i want to do oil change that's this guy right here this is a seven 17 mil and then the filter is that guy right there it looks a bit dirty hopefully that's easy to take off hopefully that's easy to take off hopefully that's easy to take off but it's also my first time getting under the car and to be honest for the price i paid it doesn't look too bad there's a little bit of sludge on this guy right there so that's something i want to look into the other side doesn't look too bad axles don't look terrible there's not a lot of rust on the control arms anything like that even over here on the jacking points you can see that everything looks pretty good i'm gonna make a video of the top five things i hate and i love on this car and after looking at it under here maybe i will keep it for a little longer than i was initially thinking so let's grab our 17 get this loose Oh no, I knew it. I knew this was gonna be a pain in the ass. I just knew it. As if I needed more reasons not to be a Honda fanboy, I've been trying to do this for 30 minutes and this was the only way to do it. So we finally got it loose. Not even that loose, oh my God. Finally. Now let's grab our new filter. Put a little bit of oil in there. Lube up the ring so we don't have this issue again for the next person. All right, that's tight enough. Now let's grab our oil. Heard you're supposed to do this nice and slow. Now that that's done, let's close this up, prime the car. We're gonna head to my cousin's house because I don't have a spark plug socket. Oh man, I feel like I gotta start vlogging. I think I really wanna start like really vlogging and showing everything that happens throughout my videos because if you saw my last clip, I start the car, I started AOK, -okay, I heard a pop sound. And then I saw the RPMs dropped and I was like, what is that? So I turned the car off right away and look what it was. That oil filter that I put on that's over there, it popped out. In my entire life of doing a hundred oil change, I've never seen that happen. So I went to like five advanced auto parts, five auto zones, and I finally found the actual filter. The one that I said beginning in this video, I don't need it, I'm gonna get the rock auto one. I guess that one doesn't work. So now we're gonna replace it with this. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Nikki, I told you not to get the ground wet. Yeah, something happened. So now let me install this bad boy. I'm gonna be honest, that filter did not turn like this. So I think that one does not fit for this car. But from what I was told, that fits for all the Acties, the streets. I cannot believe that happened. Let me grab this and let's do it all over again. And let's hope that this time, my oil doesn't come shooting out. And look at this mess. Can't believe it. Here's the aftermath from that oil spill. I'll put some Ajax on it because that's the only degreaser I feel like I have right now. But let's see if the car even starts. Maybe I exploded the Honda before I even had a chance to drive it. Oil light went away. I guess we're okay for now. Let me drive to my cousin's house like I was trying to do three hours ago. And let's put the spark plugs on. Let's put the wires. Let's put that air filter on. And let's get this done because this is way longer than it needs to be. It would start raining.
all right so i just got to my cousin's crib i just took off the six screws that hold on the soft top so we're gonna screw that down once it stops raining right now i'm gonna start to take this off so i can change the air filter that's in here so i just lifted the soft top undid the zipper let's get this screw off and then we'll have access to the spark plugs and the wires Now I need to take off the six screws that are in there. I think there's three in the top and three in the bottom. If you plan on doing this and you don't have an electric ratchet, just honestly reconsider it. Go to your friend's house because it took me like 40 minutes to finally get this thing off. And the air filter actually doesn't look that bad. Ooh. All right, spoke too soon. This thing is caked up. Now let me get the K&N filter. All right, so we're gonna have to now start a voiceover because as you can see in this clip, I am contemplating my entire existence. I'm just so confused on how I bought the wrong air filter after already buying the wrong oil filter and exploding all over the floor. So from here on, I honestly was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna post this video. At that time, I really just felt like if I'm gonna do a video where I'm doing maintenance on the beat, I can't show that I bought the wrong oil filter and I bought the wrong air filter. So I was like, you know what, I'm done making a video. I'm not gonna show anymore. And I kind of regret it because I think now watching back and editing this, it's kind of funny to see that that thing just exploded. I bought the wrong air filter. And to make matters worse on the air filter, I bought an intake from Japan that's on its way. I don't even need an air filter. I literally have an intake that's coming in. So actually, thank God I bought the wrong air filter because when I get that intake in, it would have been a waste of money. I would have spent $50 on nothing because I would have literally had to return it and it would have served me no purpose because I have an entire intake coming in with a filter. Yesterday, I did change out the spark plugs. The spark plugs were perfectly fine. You could use that part number. I did change the wires. They were perfectly fine. You could use that part number. I'll show you guys that on the screen right now. And it worked perfectly fine. I even cleaned my distributor clap. I cleaned my distributor rotor. I fixed my AC. My AC belt was super loose. All we did was really tighten that up and now the AC blows ice cold. And now, as you can see, I'm getting a full car wash, a full detail. She's taking off all the old adhesive stickers that's on the car because I want to get it ready to wrap. And then I'm going to get some tint. So now the weed is really coming together. I'm super happy with how it's going to look after all this. And I think when they're done with this, I'm just going to head to my homie shop, pick up that blue wrap that I showed you guys in the last video. And then we'll wrap the car maybe this weekend or next. how nice the beat looks got some tints the headlights are nice and fresh i'm gonna end this video here though next up is the wrap but i'm loving the way this car looks remember the name this is way before the